Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm bringing you Candra's card challenge number seven, video hop and a giveaway. Crafters participating in the hop today will be sharing a project that was created using each of the 15 card sketches from the new quarterly card making challenge. I will be sharing the card sketch number 10. Plus there will be a giveaway prize for this video hop. So make sure you comment and subscribe at each stop along the way. At the top of the description box, you will find the link to the next person in the lineup. I hope you take the time to watch all the hop videos because we love your comments and thumbs up. If you aren't already a subscriber, I hope you consider subscribing and do click the little bell so you won't miss any future videos. You can also use the hashtag KCC7 giveaway hop to find all of the videos in this hop. Please check out the description box below for the details on how to enter. I will be doing another video that shows how I do all my card sketches later in the month. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with some music and I do hope you enjoy the video. I show you two cards today. For the first card, I used wood grain patterns because I'm going to make a set of masculine cards. For sketch number 10, I decide to use foliage. I use die cards of foliage to cover the circle and I use the three strips of cards to put my sentiments in there. I, I wanted to give it a more masculine look so I use masculine colours and I always think foliage, wood grain, that kind of elements lends to a masculine card. Here's another card I made using more flowers patterned paper and I used the Better Together Alter New stamp for the sentiment which I put as the embellishment. I put it in die cut circle and the main flower I tried to match it to the pattern paper by using the painter flower Calla Lily. So I'm just showing you for that big circle you can either stamp, you can either put foliage. So I want to show you something different from what I've done in previous videos. There are other options so you can also for example use a flower. Here is a flower that I painted. I stamped it, embossed it and painted. So this is the sweet nothings from Alter New or you can die cut my favorite antique roses. So there are many options that you can use for that big circle that you need to fill with either an embellishment, a die cut, lay it stamp, And the other option is to use it to put sentiments. 
I can I, here I've got a sweet and sassy stem which is friendships is a blessing stamp then you can put a big sentiment in the circle so so many options now i'd like to invite you to join in on the challenge it's open to all card makers worldwide and there are so many prizes to be won throughout the quarter for some amazing companies the links on where you can find the free card sketches that are in pdf and other information that is important to submit can be found in the description below I hope you enjoyed the video and it inspired you to take on this challenge. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press the notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. Happy crafting and I'll catch you in my next video.